decided to do a Mass Effect Let's Play series in parallel with the Minecraft one. So starting at the beginning is always a good idea. So we'll start with Mass Effect. Once we've finished that, we'll move on to Mass Effect 2 and then Mass Effect 3. So it might take some time, but I feel it's a game that really the original Mass Effect I don't think got the exposure that it deserved. It was very, very well done. Obviously quite there's some elements to it that that were refined for the later games, but we'll get to those at the point. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? What I'll try not to do is uh, to talk through any of the cutscenes. As you can see, I do have a, a career saved already. But for purposes of this, we're going to start a new one. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified I like the way this has been done. Uh, so if you're hacking into the Alliance Military Personnel Database. What you can do is you can either go as the pre-designed character or you can create your own. So purposes of this, let's make a ball. Please log in to access your profile. There is the data is corrupt. Warning. Data corruption detected. Hey, sweet. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre service history. So you get a choice of what your pre service history was. You can either be a spacer, which is you were, well, basically, as it says, you were raised on ships and space stations. You can be a colonist, where you're raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse, and basically every day was killed when slavers raided. Or you can be Earthborn, where you were an orphan, and you escaped by joining the Alliance military. I think we'll go with Spacer for this one. We've done that. Yeah, basically, you're terrible, terrible commander, and everybody died. Second one's a war hero. You risked your own life and saved your fellows, or you can be absolutely ruthless and just get the job done. You're cold, calculating, and brutal. Reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when there is not an option, the military goes to you first. We're going to do a paragon, I think, in this one, because it, it unlocks better things. So we're going to go for hero. And you can be a soldier, an engineer, adept, infiltrator, a sentinel, or a vanguard. Again, I prefer being a soldier, that's just me. That's one of the beauties of this game, is when 
you come to play, you can choose completely different things, and it means your character will develop completely differently, and other people will talk to them and interact with them completely differently as well. Now, you can go with this, the standard appearance, or you can make Confirm your own. I think we should make our own. Preset facial structures, you can't really alter the structure of the face too much. Lighten up the skin tone a little bit, possibly a bit too much. Thickness of the neck, just to get right. This is because the eye shapes uh, are all a bit strange. So The character creation was a lot better, but Dragon Age 1 again, all it is is a cycle of presets. The Elder Souls, the wisdom of character creation, is far better because you can cycle, you can choose any value for your, your 
facial construction. construction. But get out of the bit as well. A pointy nose. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. 
Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Okay, so we're back after that fantastic cutscene. Introduce you to a couple of characters. Some of them you'll see more of later. So you've walked in basically to a conversation between the ship's pilot and another member of the crew, Joker, who is played by Seth Green, incidentally. Since we're going to be a paragon here, I, I do agree that... Nobody believes the official story. And since you just heard them talking about you moments ago, seems pretty coincidental, wouldn't you think? They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up? Yes, there's Joker. more going on than the captain's that is letting on. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Fantastic, good. good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass. So you're heading to a planet called Eden Prey. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to make And Joker just made a boo-boo. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Yes. Joker is called so because he doesn't take anything seriously. So you have Caden, you can talk to. None of them will really talk to you at the moment. If you try, Joker will just keep butting in on top of you. So it's the first opportunity you get to have a wander about your ship in Normandy. There's a navigator of Preston. He's talking to Mr. Adams. Okay, let's go and have a chat with Navigator Presley. See what he wants. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? So Sounds like you don't chat. trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels Yes, it. something's odd about this mission. You think the Alliance Brass is holding what out on them? Jimmy? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send yes. a Spectre? A Turian Why spectre? indeed would you send Shaken. one of the best Doesn't warriors in the galaxy to test a ship? What do you know about the stealth system? Normandy is fitted with stealth technology, which is apparently why he's Normandy been sent to see if the stealth technology works. Why are we fully stealth? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks too. Plus, there's an island. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. Yes, of course the shakedown run is a cover. Or what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers. He's one of the most decorated special forces officers. He could make a life 
size uh, he's there doing a test run of the so everyone is suspicious of the intentions. And the final one is the Turian Spectre. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of yes. friends when the Turians did it. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Niles for that. No. Yes, yeah, when, when huma humanity first so made contact nice with the aliens called the Turians. Which is the, We're an the handsome That's fellow you saw named Nihilus. Nihilus they the had a bit of a war, as people tend to do when they meet each other. The so, and they don't come the along just to the Turians shape. and the humans don't exactly get along. Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can get some answers when I see it. Good luck, Commander. Let's go and talk to the doctor. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Tut, tut, I sincerely tut, hope Jenkins. you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Yes, you Sorry, keep your cool, Jenkins. This waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. However, you Just treat this like every thing. other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you, or maybe you, won't. you proved yourself in the blitz. Everybody knows what it's been. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This is my big chance. Yes, it's just you're young, careful. Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Most people say the same thing. About these what can guys. you tell me about Nile? It's worth Turians asking the are doctor. generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols. The Turians look down on humanity they because they're they don't always get on well with us. new to the galactic Some scene. Find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. Yes, Nihilus doesn't like to, to talk to the I heard Nihilus petty humans. Your enemy he prefers all to by talk himself. to the captain himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the There world. are no human Spectres. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. Yeah. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for they years like now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, That's you'd make a Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. Thank you very much, James. It's all just Thank wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Okie dokie. Let's ask him about Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. That's good to know. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for so me. Got bored of That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? So why would you still have paradise? Really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Mm. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. Suppose on the Normandy surface of it is a very good place. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The Shady old Mr. Eager Beaver. Goodbye, Commander. And there's your Nihilus. Let's have a word, shall we? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? 
proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but he also protect them. Very patronizing it? from the Turians. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about Captain time Anderson. you told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this. Because after all, I'm a commander and you're only a captain. I'm sure commander comes above captain. No basis. With my knowledge on ranking systems or anything to go by. During an excavation. Prothean. Prothean. So let's find out what the Protheans are, eh? I thought the Protheans and vanished, vanished 50,000 years, years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Everything is based on this Prothean is technology. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. So apparently it's good to share. Beacon. But it's not good for them to share the with only us. Reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action. He's here to evaluate. I guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role is here to evaluate you. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance is. So coming. basically, they want you, you to become the first human Spectre. That's nice, so isn't it? Courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this. Earth needs this. It's up to you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship. You'll be in charge of the ground team, so secure the beacon and get it onto the ship. We've already asked about all of those, so let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! That's gonna look good, does it? Status it? report. It looks like a hand. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. We're 17 Take us minutes into it, away. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's so our best chance to secure to the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. So I'm taking Caden that you saw in the bridge, for want of a better word, sitting beside Joker, and we're taking Mr. Eager Beaver, Corporal Jenkins, with us as well. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. So, it's also... Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? 
Helping survivors is a secondary objective. We can the beacons are top priority. priority. People. Approaching drop point yeah. one. Hold on. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my Nihilus. own. Nihilus will go himself. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status Thank reports you throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back. We've got yeah. Nihilus is back. The mission's yours He's now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. And here we are. Eating brain. And game saves. This is an ideal time for us to end episode. Again, let me know what you think. If you think I'm being too goody goody, tell me and I'll be a little bit more. If you know any suggestions you might have, anything you'd like to see, leave me a comment and I'll try to incorporate it. Other than that, join you shortly for.